Pat Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Great to have you with us. Welcome to it. Well, it's a big day. Stuffed, jam-packed, full of stuff. Jeffy joins us as our resident meteorologist <laughs> at the beginning of the show. Well, you see Chewing here. the fat, still oh, yeah. to come. <laughs> but yeah, this uh, Hurricane Ian wow. has 155 mile per hour winds now. Yeah, well, I mean, that's still... In- 156 is a Category 5. So, so it's not a category. It's five, not a category five. It's wow. category four. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's a that's a dangerous, dangerous storm, man. It it's really is. Do some serious damage. Yeah. Um, I feel for those people. I hope they got out. I, I know. Hope they, me I too. hope they evacuated. They said that uh, they were, you know, obviously mandatory evacuations, and in uh, uh, Pinellas County, which is Tampa Bay, the sheriff was like, "Well, yeah, we're going to have mandatory evacuations, but I'm not going to make anybody leave. Mm-hmm. But know this: mm-hmm. when the storm comes, we ain't coming. We're not coming you. for you. We're not coming for you. That's what people don't understand. They think, ah, whatever. I'll I know get on my rooftop and they can come by in a rowboat." <laughs> And and they'll they'll eventually get me. they'll get me eventually. Eh, no, not, not for a while. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. And that's the thing, right? There's you know most people. If you've lived in Florida for a while, you at least have some idea of mm-hmm. the dangerousness of these storms. Yeah. But Florida has gained how many millions of people? Oh, good since point. COVID that don't have never gone through this. Mm. Yeah. Uh, that may think, oh, we'll just ride it out. It's just a storm. Uh, not this a, one. Not this one. You can do no. that with a one or a two usually. Yeah. And you'll be okay. Starting at three, it's it's serious. Yes, well, that's it why is. it's a major major hurricane. And this one's a four, a strong strong yeah, four, okay. almost, almost a five. Almost a five. It's gonna you know it's gonna do some serious damage. And the it. storm surge is <clears throat> maybe the worst of all the damage it's gonna do. Yes, and if it comes in you know high tide, you're looking mm. at uh you know nine ten feet of water. Do we know when at some point wow. tide's gonna be high? Uh, I do not have so, the tidal times okay. in front of me. Right you you now. don't have. The, do are have you the not a resident thought, meteorologist? <laughs> right, get out. Get out. Time. I thought. I thought you I may, may have heard that. I apologize. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Oh gosh, this evening at six forty. Um, uh, okay. So, oh, so twelve thirty. Uh, today is high tide. No, low tide is at twelve thirty. High tide is at six forty. This oh, evening. So, okay. Well, uh, and you know something that I mean that the tide mm-hmm. is high, but oh, I'm holding on. Oh, no. I'm going to be your number one. So, I just want you to know that. Thank you. Because I'm not the kind of boy who gives up just like that. <laughs> Hello. Oh, no. No, no. Good spot for you. <laughs> <laughs> that had to happen. Yeah, it did. Of course it did. People are talking high tide. Yeah. You, you, you can't to. help but go Come to Blondie on, on that. that song's in my head. I yeah. want to thank you you're for welcome. that, too. And you're welcome. <laughs> So uh, it, this is a really serious situation. So yes. take it seriously. You live in Florida, Fort Myers, Fort Myers area, especially right yeah. now. That's that looks to be about where it's going to make landfall. It look, not Tampa late, anymore. Yeah, no, Tampa Bay. <clears throat> yesterday, the advisories had started dropping down uh, southeast. Mm-hmm. Uh, more from uh, the center of uh, Western Florida, and now mm-hmm. you're looking at between you know Sarasota and Fort Myers, Sanibel Island in there, and uh, it, it looked like this latest advisory had it uh, a little bit west again. So it's mm-hmm. going to be you know hope may probably a little bit north of Fort Myers, but you know that still that eye is strong, and you're looking at I mean it's at one hundred one fifty five. Yeah, I mean, you're looking at yeah. the outer bands are going to be gusting 70, 80, 100 miles an hour or more. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, it's... <laughs> if you're in Fort Myers it's this not morning, good. you may want to head due east or south at this point. Uh, I don't know how, how clogged mm-hmm. the roads are. Well, up. that's the thing. Because right? Probably very. Because you don't want to be going were. with the storm. They were. I mean, they already, as of yesterday, I mean, they had evacuated between two and three million and they were on the roads getting out of there and it's that's, reminiscent of houston when and that's I lived the there thing 2007 or well, so that's the thing all these people are evacuating you know north but yeah. if ian comes on shore and doesn't cross the state and get back into the atlantic and just goes up the state exactly mm, look out yeah i mean in 2004 when charlie hit which was a smaller storm than ian charlie was you know <laughs> in the cone of death there the cone of uncertainty uh mm-hmm. you know tampa bay was smack dab in the middle and we evacuated and people went to orlando and got out of there well then charlie came up and said you know i'm not gonna i don't want to go to tampa 
Well, I guess gonna go ashore a little south of Tampa and cut mm-hmm. across and ran into everybody that had evacuated from Tampa into wow. Orlando. Yeah. I was <laughs> Yes. Well, one thing you want to make sure that if you haven't left at this point, that you oh my gosh. get vaccinated on your way out. Well, hello. That's critical. <laughs> That's critical. Nothing protects from a hurricane, 155 mile an hour winds, 10 foot storm surge. Nothing protects better than a vaccination. But see, I might Thank have you. to re right and take another look at Do this these... vaccine thing if it's that <laughs> yeah, powerful. It's, well. It absolutely okay. It's not preventing the illness it was supposed to prevent but it will stop a hurricane See, in its tracks yeah, I didn't so know that's that. great yeah uh as florida's please keep floridians oh in your gosh. prayers Heck today yes. uh but we have to get this from the president so that you know you're really protected against this hurricane let me be clear okay if you're in a state where a hurricanes often strike like florida or the gulf coast or into mm-hmm. texas a vital Gulf part Coast of preparing for hurricane mm. season is to get vaccinated now. That's a vital part of any Everything hurricane Everything is season. more complicated. Get vaccinated. not vaccinated in a hurricane <laughs> when natural disaster hits. Uh-huh. Are you for real, man? If you're not vaccinated when a hurricane hits, what? <laughs> this? They're not going to let you in the, uh, in the buildings? <laughs> it That's is act- so bizarre. I think that was some of the federal stuff. Yeah. Very possible. Yeah. I mean, listen to that again. And we got to hear that again. That is incredible. This is Let what you're clear. talking about? If Let- you're in a state where hurricanes often strike, <gasps> like Florida or the Gulf Coast the or Gulf into Coast Texas, Iowa, and Idaho. a vital part of preparing for hurricane Iowa. season uh-huh. is to get vaccinated now. Pause it. A Every- vital part of hurricane <laughs> season is to get vaccinated now. What? Okay. How do you respond to that? Uh, dude. Let it go. Will you let the vaccination thing go? <laughs> they won't. Just get off it. All right, finish it up. The season is to mm-hmm. get, get vaccinated, vaccinated now. now. Sure. Okay. Everything is more complicated if you're not vaccinated. In, in what way? Hurricane or natural disaster hits. Give me one. Okay. That's got to be it. That's got to be, That's I gotta, guess. Well, they, they've got to be. What, you're not going to get food? When they bring the food trucks in, you're not going to get it. Sorry, you haven't been vaccinated. You're gonna you're gonna have to go off and starve. If you go into the the shelters, you have to be vaccinated. I don't know that to be true. Oh, maybe I I, I don't know that to be true, but that would be despicable. That sure would. If it is true, Florida, Florida is not going to make that happen. DeSantis is not going to not going to have that in the state uh, shelters. But maybe if they're run by the feds, because they've all you know Uh issued. uh, you know, emergency. massive emergency mm-hmm. features, and everybody's in on it. I mean, Joe Biden doesn't have time to call Governor DeSantis, but he had time to call mm-hmm. the mayors of Tampa, St. Petersburg, and Clearwater. Oh, uh, okay. yesterday and talked to them. That's important. Good. Yeah. Did he tell him to get vaccinated? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Yes, yeah, so make sure we have our vaccination uh, depots open. <laughs> I mean, uh, didn't call just, the governor of the state. Did not. That did not is... call the governor of the state. It gets more bizarre every day. I know. Every day. And, you know, petty petty bickering. That's the only reason not to call DeSantis. Of course you call the governor. Nope. No, not this guy, because we're, we're pissed. We don't like him. And I don't okay. think that DeSantis needs to be mm-hmm. reminded of this, but if Biden does show up in Florida after the hurricane goes through, don't hug him and don't, you know, mm-hmm. don't don't cozy up to him. That's what Chris Christie learned with, with Obama. Oh, that? man, sure do. Ruined him. Yep. Wow, that's right. Yeah. And that's what... That's mm-hmm. what really helped him. It did push over the top. Yeah, was, uh, did. That was Superstorm Sandy. Yeah, right. Which was not a hurricane, but everybody thinks it was. It was a superstorm. It was a superstorm. It's a bird. It's a plane. <laughs> no. no, it's Superstorm Sandy. All right. So today, though, uh, if you're in Florida and you're in the path of this thing, take it seriously. Uh, I would be for leaving. Because these yeah. these kinds of storms you don't ride out, you know, you leave. And if you're actually if, if you're not a big fan of hurricanes, you and, might want to consider what voting for Democrats. Will that help? Oh, of course it will. Oh, good. Um, and that's some, what I've heard. Some people will say, "Wait, what?" Well, Amy Klobuchar is here to let us know. We just did something about climate change for the first time in decades. That's why we've got to win this as that hurricane mm-hmm. bears down on Florida. we got to win in the midterms. We understand that. What are you insinuating? 
that if Democrats are elected, there will be no more hurricanes. These people know no shame, no limits. I know. Just shut up. And by the way, it's a grand total of one now yeah. during this supposedly super active hurricane season that was going to be active. How many storms were going to come through? Lots. Thousands. <laughs> Thousands of storms. Thousands yeah. they, did, of they, storms did they recalculate through. that? Uh, have they pulled they re- down that estimation? They recalculated and it was still pretty bad. I mean, and it could be. There, there could yes, be it other could be. storms. Absolutely. We're a month away, though. We're now a month away from the end of hurricane season. So, I don't know. It's incredible. It's incredible. So, vote Democrat, mm-hmm. which she's alluding, alluding to, and uh, we'll fix this. Really? Okay, so the, what is it? Five hundred billion you're going to spend? That's going to stop hurricanes from occurring, if only. If only, yeah, no kidding. If only, no kidding. I saw where, um, you know, one lady that I talked to a long time ago, and one of the storms that uh, came through, it made landfall in Texas, and we talked <clears throat> to a lady that uh, had had uh, decided to stay. Mm-hmm. And you know, we talked about how maybe these big storms. You know, it's a good thing to leave. But many people decide, nah, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. And she said, in the end, she was on top of her washing machine thinking she was going to die. With the water rising up to about her waist, to rise. right? Yeah, continuing yeah. to rise. And, and then it finally stopped rising. I mean, thankfully for her, it yep. stopped rising. But many times it doesn't. Yeah. You know, I love the graphics that the Weather Channel does where they show you just what the water levels are look like mm-hmm. at the time mm-hmm. and this this one from t- yesterday they showed how when it gets to you know what it looks like at nine feet mm. and uh, just incredible yeah extremely dangerous hurricane ian continues to close in on western florida we expect dangerous winds as well as significant storm surge flooding which is why we have storm surge watches and warnings up for much of the west coast of florida including the potential for water rises yeah, above normally now. dry ground and in some cases exceeds 10 feet. Now we can zoom Oof. in on some areas, like for example, in the Fort Myers Cape Coral area where we know there's the most extensive canal system in the world. Well, the water's gonna find its way really? seriously into all these little areas. And in some cases, will be up to six, nine feet above normally dry ground. Let me show uh. you what that looks like and exactly why you need to evacuate. Here's where the water comes up to three feet. Well, by the time it does that, it's too late to evacuate. Who knows what's in this room? Oh, Chemicals, man. floating objects, three feet of water can easily float the Pat's far guns. Away. We also right. know there's few places that can water rises way above oh. normally dry ground. Nine feet. That can completely oh. submerge some buildings, Gosh. homes, businesses. This, in many cases, is not survival, which is exactly why we tell you to evacuate and follow the advice of the National Hurricane Center and all the local officials. Yeah, I mean, that just amazing. Now, that's not going to be everywhere, obviously, but, I mean, it's a dangerous, dangerous That's an excellent use of computer graphics. It sure sure is. Yes, it is. That That brings it home. Yeah, it does. Yes, it does. To hear nine feet is one thing. Yeah. To see it portrayed like that (laughs) is another. It, Weather wow. Channel, can we pull wow. down the wind effect just a little bit? I yeah, can't so we hear, can the, hear guy. the guy. I know. <laughs> They're so carried away with, look at our technology, that they drown out the guy giving us the important information. <laughs> anyway, that was very, uh, that, that, you're right. That, that really. That brings it home. Powerful. Yeah. So, I brings mean, it if home. you def- have decided to stay. Not a good decision. No, not really. Bless your heart. Tornadoes Say your happening all over the place down there. South Florida now. Oh, oh yeah, those the, the outer bands of those storms just mm-hmm. create Spawn so much her- tornadoes, tornadoes too. Tornadoes, yeah, yeah. God, y'all be safe, please. I didn't realize that Fort Myers had the most complicated the Cape, uh, canal Cape system Coral, in the world. Cape Coral, there, that was pretty amazing. Right? I didn't know that, huh? So even with that, you saw what would happen if if right. the st- storm surge is what they say it's going to be, and it probably is. Is going to be okay. So or let's say it's not, not nine feet. Let's say it's only four. Yeah, you know, you're still <laughs> you're still yeah. in trouble. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that is phenomenal, unbelievable. Uh, and of course, yeah, that's why you don't want to talk to the governor of the state if you're the president. <laughs> no, no. You don't want to talk to him. And I will say, uh, now's uh, there's no time like the present to get vaccinated. 
Thank uh, you. Before the flooding begins. So critical. It is critical during hur- hurricane season <laughs> to become vaccinated. And to get your booster shot, for that matter. If you've already been vaccinated, hurricane season is the perfect time to get your booster shot. Yes, thank you. If I might be so bold. Unbelievable. And I might. Yeah, we were. What a world. What a world I we know. live in. Stupid. Really? Joe, this is what you're going to talk about when people are in peril of losing their homes, everything they own, and their very lives. Oh, uh, this, this is a perfect time to get vaccinated. Mm-hmm. Critical time. Yeah. It's critical. Critical. Yeah. And, and one of his little Marxist minions in the back there wrote that for him <clears throat> to read. Yeah. I mean, so this mm-hmm. went through multiple hands. <laughs> Just so Unreal. Funny. Just incredible. Speaking of DeSantis. Uh, one of his former aides is claiming in a, I think, a new book, right, that that um, that he routinely torches former President Donald Trump in private, calling him, quote, a moron who has no business running for president, unquote. That's according to a former DeSantis staffer. I don't believe it. I don't either. No frankly. way. Frankly, I don't either. And how, how do you ever... Uh, you can't prove one way or the other. Nope. But you throw this out there, like this former aide yep. is doing, and it's just out there in the ether, yep. causing problems between him and Trump. So do you suppose Trump is wondering now? Well, is he really, is he doing that? That's the point of this, right? That's the point. Yep. Cause a little consternation there. Uh, maybe some dissension in the ranks. And uh, let's see if we can screw up this midterm uh, uh, avalanche for Republicans, which is what they're desperately trying to do uh also as for the uh elections coming up bernie sanders is leaving the door open just so you know for a 2024 <laughs> presidential run is oh, that right yeah Oof. all Oof. right thank goodness so Good. now you're gonna have that you might have that alternative okay. i can't say definitively he's going to run oh, he didn't say for sure he didn't say for sure oh he can't leave us hanging like that uh his quote was when asked well that's a big you know I haven't made that decision. <laughs> That's a big. <laughs> That's a big. You know. You know. I haven't made that decision. <laughs> That's the quote. Yeah. Oh, well, that is that sounds quote. like somebody <laughs> trying to stay relevant. Yeah. No kidding. You know, it's like, uh, wait. If I leave them guessing, then uh, they'll care about me. He is right now, as we speak, eighty-one years old. Eighty-one. Two years from now, if he were to win the presidency at eighty-three, that's your starting point. Okay, uh, no. Aside from all the socialist stuff, and the guy's just a lunatic, uh, 83 to start your term as president? How old is Biden? I mean, Biden's going to be pretty close to that, right? He's 79. Yeah. yeah, he'll be, what, 81, 82. When Trump, he, too, really? Trump is, I think, four years behind. So he's a spring chicken okay, compared so to mind, those two guys. <laughs> How dare you I'm sorry. put him in a category with Sanders and Biden? No. Spring chicken. Barely graduated from, from college, uh, Donald Trump, in comparison to the two. Jeez. Uh, all right. Also, we've got some issues now in uh, Europe, like we didn't have any before, but uh, the pipes that bring natural gas from Russia to Europe are leaking into the Baltic Sea. Hmm. You don't suppose somebody is sabotaging no. those pipes, do you? Word. You don't suppose. No. Them. What are you? What? Yeah. I I don't know why that even occurred to me. It was like a non sequitur, just yeah. popping out of Thank my head. You. Uh, Denmark assesses that Nord Stream gas leaks were caused by, quote, a deliberate act, mm. unquote, and could not have been the result of accidents. Hmm. So. Russians, uh, perhaps? No, I don't, I don't think, think so, Tim. So. No, it's no, it's not Russians. That's not what they're. That's <laughs> not what they're it's surmising. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, Denmark's not surmising that, are they? Uh, no, that it's, it's Americans. No, they're just We're saying it was, it was. It was. They're just saying that it was deliberate. Yes. And who's American? I will say <laughs> I'm with you, Jeff. Uh, I will say that uh, you had the former. Was it the former defense minister of Poland? Was it? That tweeted out a picture of the leak, and it said, "Thank you, America." Yeah. What? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh huh. So I don't. Thank and, you, America. Uh, yeah. And then what was the other thing? There was oh been gosh. reports of the U.S. Navy doing some exercises around yes, there. Yes, there were. Did I hear uh, that? Report. Yes. Okay. Yes. We must have been listening to the same report. And they were there diving were around there, there or something. 
There were there were reports uh, that the Navy had some ships around that neck of the woods. Okay, but this is all hearsay. Yes, right? it is. This it's is just, all hearsay. Yes, it is. Let's just roll the clips from January and February from uh, Biden officials. Shall roll we? that beautiful okay, bean so footage. Okay, so this is this is someone at the State Department, Victoria Newland, who was uh, um, January. With regard to Nord Stream two, uh, we continue to have uh, very strong and clear conversations uh, with our German allies, and I want to be clear with you today. Mm. If okay, Russia you. invades mm -hmm. Ukraine, mm -hmm. one way or another, Nord Stream 2 will not move forward. Mm. Uh -huh. oh, that's January. That's just... Huh. Wait, what? One way or another, <laughs> it will not oh. move forward. Okay, then... then okay. It's not like she's the president of the United States a month right. later. No, okay. but a short while later, the president yeah. of the United <laughs> oh, States... Oh, wait, wait, I just said no. ...said something like this. Let me answer the first question first. If Germany... If, uh, if Pause it though. First question he just first. wants to answer the first question. He's not going to be clear because he didn't say, let me be clear. So Fair. I don't know if he's going to be clear or not. Fair is he, is, he is is going he, to that ever, a good point? Is he ever clear? No, he's not. Actually, this one time. He, he All right, let's clear. see if he's he clear here. The Go first question back to the beginning. First, though. Okay, first question. First. Mm -hmm. Let me answer the first question first. If Germany, <laughs> if, uh, if Russia invades, uh, mm -hmm. that means... Tanks or troops crossing yeah, we know the, what that, we got uh, the, the border of Ukraine uh, again. Then uh, huh. does it? There will be uh, we. Huh. There will be no longer uh, Nord Stream two. We we will bring an end to it. Wait a minute. What do you mean? Oh. We will bring an okay. end to it. But how will you? How will you do what? that? How will you do that? Exactly. Yeah. Since the project it's and Germany. control of the project yeah, is still in Germany's control. Good. Good point. We will, good question. Uh, I promise you, we'll be able to do it. Oh, no. Oh. Dude's going to get us nuked. That's okay. outrageous. That sure is. Wow. Okay. So, <laughs> there you go. Germany. Um, That's great. Okay. Have a good day. So, so uh, is that what is going on then, since it's leaking? Huh. Is, it, is it leaking? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> leaking? <laughs> There's leakages. leakages. Thank you. That's Thank what you. we're yeah. doing here. Yes. So there you go. Hmm. Not good. Good times. Not no, good I'm at sorry. all. Oh wait. These no, buffoons. Absolute buffoons. I mean, every day, more and more isolationist. Wow. And the Germans are now. You know, the German people are saying, um, "Well, maybe you could turn this thing back on. Mm -hmm. uh, we'd like a little power, a little mm -hmm. gas." Uh, we have it's businesses cold. to open. We have, uh, yeah. you know, our bodies are a little cold. We'd mm -hmm. like to heat ourselves up a little bit. Uh, yeah. What do you say? Maybe we do that. Mm. And November, December, January, when they roll around, it's going to be a much more severe situation. Yes. Wow. Mm. How about that? I'd forgotten he'd said he'd said that. Uh, and now that does look bad. <laughs> it looks. Pretty bad. Yep, we're about uh, six weeks away from the <clears throat> typical first freeze in Germany. Well, parts of Germany, my gosh. Mm. Uh, you're about get freeze about four, now. four weeks away. Yeah. All right. Uh, we're about, I think, four weeks behind the time where Montana gets its first freeze. <laughs> 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 so, uh, good luck in Europe. Wow, that is crazy. Then we have Jordan Peterson uh, on Piers Morgan discussing the whole war in Ukraine and all that and uh, what that means to us. I don't know what the preconditions for peace might be, but I do know that naive notions that the Russians are going to lose somehow or that we're going to win, I, I, don't, I just don't understand. I don't understand that. Well, what do you mean we're going to win? What are we yeah. going to win here exactly? Well, I guess okay. a victory would be that the Russians retreated from Ukraine. That would have been my answer as well. Mm -hmm. With with Ukraine in ruins. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, that, well okay, fine. Possible. That's a hell of a victory. Like, I think Putin could manage that because I think he could tell his mm -hmm. people. And I think they might buy it. It's like we accomplished our objective. We devastated Ukraine and we kept it out of the hands of the West. And that's Dude. not great. Yeah. It's not what we had hoped for, but it's better than the alternative. And I think they would buy that. And I think when, when Putin went into Ukraine, I thought, well, I thought a bunch of things, which I, I made a YouTube video about that. People criticized like mad. I thought, OK, well, what's happening here? Oh, I see. 
his his end game for failure is that Ru- that Ukraine is left in a smoking ruin. Mm. Oh, that's a victory. Mm. So then he can lose with impunity. Right. So how can we win? We can't win against Vladimir Putin anyways, because you cannot win against someone you cannot say no to. Period. And we can't say no to Putin because we sold our soul for his oil and gas. And we did that to elevate our moral stature in relationship to saving the planet. Amen. And so mm. here we are yeah. facing a very dire winter, hoisted mm. on the petard of our own foolishness and moral presumption. Mm. We're saving the planet. We'll see. I don't think so. It doesn't look like it to me. Mm-hmm. And this is, this is the he most is catastrophic issue kidding, here. Kidding. Assuming that we're facing an environmental crisis of planetary proportions, which is not something I buy, by the way, assuming we are, well, then I would imagine that you would put in place measures that would ameliorate that problem Mm -hmm. instead of exacerbating it. But all the measures you're putting in place are actually making the environmental problem worse. So how is that even vaguely acceptable? And I look at that and I think, oh, I see. It's just like George Orwell said about middle class socialists 50 years ago. It's not that you love the planet. It's that you hate humanity. Thank you. So, Ah. well, have at her, boys and girls. And we'll see what happens this winter. And it's very terrifying to me. It is. Especially here, you know, because your energy prices have gone way out of control. And that's going to hurt a lot of poor people. Mm -hmm. And and certainly around the world as well. The World Bank already estimated that we've Mm -hmm. put 350 million people into what they call a food insecurity. 350 million. That's three times as many as the communists managed to kill. Maybe we can manage that in a winter. Oh. But the planet has too many people. Mm. There you go. <laughs> a somewhat candid assessment uh, yeah. from uh, Jordan Peterson. Yeah, and, and we mentioned what on mm. overtime yesterday, how Belgium is like, no, nope, we're going forward with denuclearizing our nation. No more energy from nuclear plants. <clears throat> and they started powering down. Mm. I mean, that's not going to be helpful. No, sure, sure isn't. But, you know. They, they held those elections, though, Ukraine, uh, all those provinces, you know, voting to join Russia. Uh, what was the votes? It was like 85% or greater mm-hmm. voted to leave Ukraine and join Russia. And, of course, Biden is calling, you know, the whole administration is saying these are sham elections, which I find ironic that this yeah, administration no would yeah. refer to sham elections. It's for sure. But they <laughs> anyway. can. They can get away with that because the media is on their side. And they won't be they won't be challenged, so it's fine. Yeah, you can go against the things that you've said your whole term, and uh, just start making wild claims that are the exact opposite of everything you've said. And it's ah, it's fine. Don't worry, Don't worry about, about it. it. Don't worry about it. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Let me tell you about bank on yourself. Um, we've been brainwashed into believing the only way to grow our money for retirement is to risk it in the stock market. Well, we've seen recently just Mm. how bad a decision that can be. Uh, You can reach your financial goals and dreams without taking any unnecessary risks. Bank on yourself is a better way to grow and protect your hard-earned money. This retirement plan alternative has never had a losing year in over 160 years. Let me be be clear. (laughs) The retirement, this retirement plan alternative has never had a losing year in over 160 years. That's incredible. So <clears throat> be in control of your retirement. You get access to your money for any purpose with no questions asked, without government penalties or restrictions on how much income you can take or when you can take it. Wow. Try that with your 401k or IRA. There's built-in inflation protection And you're going to get peace of mind. Maybe the best reason of all. You'll know the minimum guaranteed value of your retirement savings on the day you plan to tap into them. And at every point along the way. So, you can get a free report with all the details on how the bank on yourself strategy adds guarantees, predictability, and control to your financial plan. Just go to bankonyourself.com slash unleashed. That's bankonyourself.com slash unleashed. We're going to chew the fat with Jeffy next. Pat Gray. Pat Gray. 
Welcome. 888 900 Also at Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Hmm. Time to chew the fat with Jeffy here. Although uh, we have we what, the our was 17th board op yeah. change in the last 12 days. And the last one took the hard and, drive. Uh, took it. Yeah. And it's gone. So oh, wow. I'm, I'm not sure. Martin... Uh, uh, when Martin ran the board initially, uh-huh. years ago, um, I don't think we had the open for Jeffy's chewing the fat, uh, but we do need his microphone up. You can. It's Martin's first day. Yeah. Well, it's not, but <laughs> we can pretend. I heard it. I heard well, it in queue. I heard one of them in queue just now. I oh, you did? I can't work like this. All right, we'll play one of them. Yeah. Here's. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Time to chew the fat with Jeffy. All well, right. And, and when they're done, anyway. Because we can't start it. <laughs> it would be rude to cut off the kids. That orangutan. I mean, they worked me hard up. on this 2001. They sure theme. did. Not hard enough. Wait, what? What, what do you mean? mean? All I want to do is. Mm. It's such a conscientious orangutan. I just want a cigarette, Washington. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> That's an orangutan living his good life right there, his best life. Oh, look at there, a little Jupiter. Nice. I like that. And time to chew oh. the fat with Jeffy. Okay. Uh, we may need to start a GoFundMe for uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, you know, you think to yourself, wait, mm. what? Well, uh, he is not one of America's 10 wealthiest people. For the first time since 2015, uh, the stock has plummeted. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's lost about 76.8 billion dollars since September of last year. Whoa! He has dropped down to number 11. So, 11. I, I know. Oh, wow, I know. it's horrible. Did you replace him? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, it bumped, <laughs> bumped me up a little bit. Mm. I mean, Elon is still, you know, like 251. And that's not how you wanted to get in that list, though. Is by no, Zuckerberg you falling out. You want to down. Come you up. want to yeah. build people up. Mm. All right. <laughs> Bezos is at 151, and Gates is still at 106, and Ellison, Larry Ellison, is at 101. Those are all the ones over 100 billion now. Mm. Um, Jeez. I, I know. So Elon outpaces Elon's those guys at, by yeah, over 100, 100 billion dollars. <laughs> 100 billion more. Than the number two right. guy. You know Jeff is pissed. Wow. I don't know about Bill, Jeez. but Jeff is pissed. Yeah. Jeff does yeah. not like Well, he's got either. reason to be. How would you like to be just the second wealthiest well, on the I planet? Mean, yeah. How'd you like that? Huh? It's embarrassing. <laughs> Plus, I Humiliating. Mean, not only are you the second wealthiest, I mean, you are way down. Yeah. You're 100 billion less. <laughs> You're way down, bro. Wow, what a loser. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> That's why I kind of felt bad for for Mark, mm-hmm. you know, dropping out mm-hmm. of the top ten. Yeah, so, that's really. If it drops any farther, well, I, uh, I don't even want to hear his name spoken uh, anymore. Yeah, if he yeah. drops any further, <laughs> at eleven we can mention him occasionally. <laughs> at twelve, no, I'm not talking no, about no, him no at no all. It's not, it's not <laughs> worth it anymore. <laughs> Last week we talked about uh, Diamond Baby gone missing. Now, Diamond Baby is the dog belonging to Paris Hilton. Now, it's been over a week now, and Diamond Baby is still missing. Now, this has been one of the most painful experiences of my life. I miss her so much and feel like part of me is gone without her next to me, says Paris. Please reach out to finddiamondbaby at gmail.com. For those that aren't aware, she said she was at a photo shoot, and they were moving houses, and one of the movers must have left the door open. My family and friends have been Mm -hmm. helping me search high and low throughout my entire neighborhood. We've gone door to door, but we still haven't found her. She continued that she is in contact with six credible pet psychic communicators. Um, Why would you have to point out their... Of course they're credible. They're pet psychics, (laughs) right? So credible goes without saying. Does it not? It does, but she wanted to, <laughs> she wanted to say it. That reminds she me wanted of, to get it out of there. I how Nikki's doing. And she was assured that Diamond Baby was alive and giving her uh, hope for mm-hmm. the dog's return. She added that she hired a pet detective, mm-hmm. a dog whisperer, mm. more than one pet psychic, 
and they're looking into dog finding drones. Uh, she's doing everything in her you power to get the dog back. That there are pet psychics. Hold on a second. Remember the pet psychic we when I oh. first went to Houston. Yeah, yeah. And dude, it's just got to be your show's got to be more magazine. Magazine. One of the magazine-y things uh, was having the psychics, psychics on, on yeah. once a week or love whatever. It. Yeah, love it. And one of them was a pet psychic. Love it. And I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? She it's got good nothing stuff. right about my nothing cat. right about anybody's yeah, pet. That's good stuff. But for I some bet, reason, I people I bought in. I bet I, I, I could do so that. Wait. We used to do a psychic show, mm-hmm. uh, hundred uh, six twenty WSUN, entertaining talk radio for the nineties, and uh, we Gary Spivey was uh, did a psychic show, mm-hmm. and there were many nights that Gary, being psychic and all, would be late, so I would fill in for him until oh, he showed right. up and uh, <laughs> take calls. Man, it's awesome. Is the dog not microchipped? Awesome. Is it not microchipped? The dog? I guess not. That's weird. I don't know. Now, she <laughs> said, she told her 20.4 million followers on Instagram that uh, there will be a $10,000 award for the safe return or information leading to the safe return of Diamond Baby. No questions asked. So help me understand. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm sorry she lost her dog. Mm-hmm. Kind of. But uh, Paris is worth three, four hundred million dollars probably thereabouts Mm -hmm. somewhere in that neck of the woods uh she's hired pet detectives dog whisperers psychics dog finding drones and she's only willing to give someone ten thousand dollars i know for the reward Mm -hmm. Uh, that seems a little cheap that was a little a little low too that seems a little cheap yeah that's not much Uh, of a no it is not you no, need to change not. somebody's life. Let's go to fifty or a hundred thousand. Yes, let's go. Yeah. Hello. Come on. I mean, I realize that it's probably possible that uh, you know Diamond Baby ended up you know dinner Dead? for dinner for a coyote. Uh-huh. Mm. But, uh huh. But you know, I hope not. I do too. I hope not. And uh, believe me, I would bring a dog to her for more than ten grand. I'll tell you that. Isn't this Diamond Baby? Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little Chihuahua. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's Diamond Baby. No problem. So anyway, good luck to Paris. I hope you mm-hmm. get your. Or dog Diamond back. baby back. Yeah. Uh, we talked a little bit. We know Rihanna is uh, headlining the Super Bowl uh, LVII mm. halftime show mm. on uh, oh. February 12th. Can't sponsored wait. by Apple Music. I mean, she hasn't released an album since 2016. Mm. Hasn't performed in public since 2018. And now she's going to take the wow. stage uh, Take the stage in the Super Bowl in 2023. Mm. So, okay. Wow. All right. Let's Rihanna and roll. Let's go. Uh-huh. I mean, she's been busy. She's, mm. she's only worth a little over a billion now with yeah. her uh, Fenty uh, line. So, you know, she's been a little busy. Wait, what was that again? Rihanna and Roll? That's Rihanna and Roll, yeah. Is that Hello. is that is that Jeffy patented uh, trademark? Uh, that is now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Rihanna and Roll. <laughs> and speaking of NFL, uh, it's ending the Pro Bowl after 70 years. What? Uh, it's replacing the Pro Bowl with yeah. a week-long skills competition like this. and a flag football game. I know. I kind of do, too. Flag football game. I kind of do, too. The skills competition Yeah, that's going to be fun. fun. Yeah, the yeah. skills competitions will be fun to watch. The new event will replace the mm-hmm. full-time contact showcase that started back in 1951. Hmm. So they're going to have uh, the games are going to be held in Vegas, and the flag football game will be at Allegiant on February 5th, which is the week before the Super Bowl. Peyton Manning and his Omaha Productions Company will help shape programming and promote the event uh, content throughout <laughs> the week. So that'll be fun. <laughs> mm-hmm. that'll Did be you fun. see that Peyton Manning was asked if he would ever be an NFL coach? And he said, I co- I'm the offensive coordinator for my son's like peewee football team. Uh, oh, yeah. And we lost in overtime. And all the kids came up to me afterwards like, why were we running the ball so much, coach? And he's like, I don't need... I, that, that's plenty enough stress for me. I don't need a 32-year-old man asking me this after games in the NFL. So I don't guess he's going to coach. That's great. you got to love that guy. Yeah. Is there anybody that doesn't like Peyton Manning? Right. He's awesome. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, he's been Eli's awesome. pretty great, too. Yep. i got to tell you, I've, I've flip, been flipping back and forth yeah. on Monday night. Mm-hmm. Uh, and because uh, last, it, I feel like it's gotten better. Yeah? Uh, with the uh, Peyton, Peyton and, and Eli, Eli yeah. thing? Mm. Uh, I feel like they've, you know, Brought it back a little bit more, more about the game. Yeah, good. Uh, and really, it's been been fun to watch. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you know, anyway, it's, and but, they both do it from their homes, right? Yeah. If they were in the same location, it would help I, a know, lot. I know, but it, I, t- I got to say that once you get involved in it, it's funnier yeah. because they give each other crap about it. Yeah, okay. So it's kind of you know, I don't know. It's just it's a. But you I, liked it, yeah? I, I, I do yeah. actually like it. I, I go back and forth, though, because there are times when I'm like, okay. You just want to watch yeah, the game. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Let's go. 
So, uh, did you see the rocket smash into the asteroid on Monday? Uh, I didn't NASA's see it, du- but I what? heard about it. It was live at 7.14 uh-huh. <laughs> p.m., 6.14 hour time. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. So NASA's DART spacecraft uh, smashed into the asteroid traveling at 14,000 miles per hour. And it was it's hammer time. 6.8 million <laughs> miles from Earth. Uh, you know, we talked about it before mm-hmm. that they had launched it back in November. But the this is the first planetary defense test that could save the world from catastrophic collision with a mm-hmm. space rock. And this is what it looked like. Uh, oh, NASA. my goodness. Eight, yeah. Seven, oh, six, wow. Five, four. Three, two, one. And? Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Okay, the count was a little off. I still don't see impact. Where? Show me the impact. We got it? Waiting. Waiting. And we have an impact. We found the personality in the name of planetary huh. defense. Uh, in the name Fantastic. of planetary defense. <laughs> All right. D- disappointing, right? <laughs> kind of. I, it was for me. Yeah, I you mean, didn't really see the impact. I mean, I, I know it's a cool thing. And we spent like, I don't know, $324 million or something that they reported, uh, which is in nothing in today's world. And I know that we're supposed to hope that it nudges the asteroid from its orbit. And uh, we'll find out in... Two months. A couple of months. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, whether it actually uh, you know, worked, and we'll know if uh, Demorphus uh, got knocked off and pushed into a smaller orbit from uh, Didymos. But uh, it, you know, the, using the kinetic impact uh, could be used in future to push an asteroid from colliding with our planet. In fact, one commentator said, Humanity won, asteroid zero. <laughs> but I was hoping for... A video shot yeah. of yeah. The I don't know how collision. you'd make that happen. Well, but. I I was thinking. See, this is why they should have consulted me. Mm, that NASA okay. should have consulted me. Sure. What were you thinking? They, I know they were only traveling at fourteen thousand miles an hour. Yeah. So, but in that last ten seconds, mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. the camera that's on the rocket should have jettisoned, jettisoned off the rocket. Yeah. So and that we could shot see the, it. Yeah. yeah. So we could see the collision. I think they sent a companion along with it that did do that, but we haven't seen it yet because it hasn't gotten here. I think. I mean, That's what I think happened. I'm not positive. What, are we waiting for the film to develop? Uh, yes. What's the problem? Yes. We have to, we have to take it we into a, a Walmart and... <laughs> Get it developed. Well, let's go. And then we'll see that. Uh, I mean, and but there's it might a take storm a in Florida, yeah. So oh, yeah, yeah. everything is shut down now. They wheeled oh, Artemis right. back in. Uh, That's right. They wheeled Artemis back into the that thing's back into never the leaving the planet, dude. Uh, I mean, was, <laughs> I'm glad that they wheeled it back in because it can withstand. I don't know. They said it could withstand. 80 or 90 mile an hour winds out But not there. 155? Uh, yeah, they, huh. Uh, Weird. Go we'll go ahead and roll this thing back in, okay? Uh, so yeah, if it can't fly through a cloud, I'm uh, pretty sure it thank can't you. withstand 155 thank mile you. an hour winds. I know. Hey, uh, let me just tell you about Rough Greens, and then we'll be right back into chewing the fat. If you're a dog owner, I'm sure you love your dog. You consider your dog part of the family. Maybe you even dress your dog in those cute little doggy sweaters and that kind of stuff. Adorable. You like Diamond Baby? But, um, <laughs> yeah, like Diamond Baby, who had, like, uh, full <laughs> gear on her. And that's great. Uh, really cool. But you, it's really more important what's on the inside of your little doggy. Like, is it stu- stuff that's good for your dog, him or her? Uh, if you're putting Rough Greens on top of your dog's dry kibble food, which is just dead food... Um, then you're going to recharge your dog. Your dog will be happier, healthier, more active, puppy-like again. Watch the changes. When you just sprinkle the rough greens on your dog's food every day and see what happens. Just sit back and, and watch the difference. Once your dog experiences the vitamins and minerals, probiotics, antioxidants, everything they need uh, that's missing out of most dog food. Plus... They're really concerned about uh, about your finances. They don't want you to waste your money. If your dog doesn't like it, they, they don't want you to have to suffer for that. So they're willing to send you a free bag of Rough Greens for your dog to try out for a couple of days. Just a sample package. All you have to do is pay for the shipping. Just go to roughgreens.com, R-U-F-F greens.com, or call 833-783-3364. Pat 
Gray. All right. We're Chewing the Fat with Jeffy. Uh, speaking of Chewing the Fat, that is a podcast show that you should subscribe to. By the way, available wherever you get your podcast, Chewing the Fat with Jeff Fisher. Uh, did you make it to the theater this weekend? Because uh, I know we had the big re-release of Avatar <laughs> uh, at the theater. Ooh, have uh, I been anticipating 13, that? 13 years after it made its uh, mm. theatrical debut. It's once again won the global weekend box office. Did it really? They won the global yes. with thirty point five huge, million, uh-huh. but it only made ten million here domestically. So, okay. which made it like third, uh, but it's still mm. number one with two billion eight hundred and seventy-seven million uh, eight hundred and ninety-seven thousand three hundred and thirty-nine dollars. Oh. Avengers Endgame is still number two. I think they were. I mean, Cameron would love nothing more than to have Avatar hit that three billion mark. But I don't mm. think it's when does the make new it. one come out, and are we going to camp out as a show? December sixteenth is the way of water, oh, and right. uh, that's what they're hoping. It's uh, mm. you know that this remastered Avatar will uh, you know drive people to the way of water. Um, <laughs> <laughs> way of water. Uh, it's, uh, you know, Jeez, not the best subtitle. I don't, I don't know that I'll go to the theater to see it. I mean, I'll, I'll definitely see it. I mean, will you really? Oh yeah, I have no. Interest I liked the in first one at all. I liked didn't like the first like one. The first one. Oh, oh, see, I actually. I was surprised I liked the first one. Yeah, it took me years one. to watch it, but when I finally did, I enjoyed it. Mm. You? It took you years <laughs> to watch a film that came out 13 years ago? That's a surprise to me. I don't know about you, but it's a surprise <laughs> yeah, to you're me. you're shocked, aren't you? Uh, 91-year-old are we all, James Earl Jones. I don't know how much time we have left here, so we'll just say goodbye. James Earl Jones has decided that, you know what, the iconic villain Darth Vader that I've voiced for over 40 years I'm going to step away from no. him. No. What? Go oh, no. He's given his blessing for his voice. No. I am your father. He's wow. given the blessing for his voice to be digitally recreated to keep Vader alive, though. Oh, okay. So All right. AI, oh, te- get out AI we technology don't care. is going to still go yeah, on. We got the computer. You can go now. Wow, he's 91. I know. <laughs> That's amazing. All right. More Pat Gray Unleashed just around the corner. Pat Gray Unleashed on the Blaze Radio Network. Pat Gray is here. I am. On the Blaze Radio Network. Uh, Jeffy's also here. Keith, of course, as every day. Uh, You know what we didn't get to discuss uh, because I was on vacation last week Mm. is the fact that Missouri very nearly, Mm. very nearly this last weekend, though, uh, almost beat Auburn. Should have won. And... We a guy had a clear it. shot in overtime oh. at the end zone. Score the touchdown. Drops the drops ball the for ball. no reason on the way in. Oh, that was a tough, that was a tough loss. It just trickled out the back of the end zone oh. and uh, game over. That's the game. Jeez. I know. That had to be. Oh, it's heartbreaking. Yeah. Heartbreak. Yeah. It was, it's um, almost better to get beat by 40 points. Which, by the way, uh, coming up in November, I believe we have Georgia, Florida, oh, okay. Kentucky. They'll do that yeah, yeah. So we'll get that beating. Sure. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> that beating is fine. Yes, you will. Yeah, you know, I, I noticed your boys won this past weekend. They did. So that's, that's the good, weekend right? before wasn't quite as wonderful. Uh, the Oregon game, I really I tried sucked. to contact the airline to turn them around. Uh, I, think, <laughs> I know you were flying into Washington. I didn't want. Yeah, to, I thought, man, just turn the plane around. Yeah, have them come back home. Ugly game. Oh, really bad. My gosh, really bad. It was ugly. Plus, uh, you know, there was the big. Well, it was big for some. Very few, actually. Uh, the Oregon crowd chanting F the Mormons oh, yeah. during the game. Um, yeah, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Nobody reports on that. That's fine. Eh, go ahead. Do? Go ahead and chant F the Mormons the whole game do? and scream at them about but polygamy. But somebody lies about some but racist some, yeah. chant and the right. world ends. Right. Exactly. Agonizing. Everybody reports over and over and over and over again. Yeah, but go ahead and, and chant and F the still, Mormons. And it's still okay. And and it's still okay. okay. It's like she just, well, she believes it's her truth. Mm-hmm. It's her truth. It's her truth. What no, are you I'm sorry. About? You, no. you don't it have access didn't to happen. To just truth that only belongs to you. That's not truth. Okay. <laughs> that's your perception or that's your fantasy world. All right. That's not truth. So hey, we're got, still going with that. But I guess uh, I was reading online a guy who goes to all the away games. He says it happens at every mm. away game that he's been to. With one exception, Nebraska. Baylor. 
Baylor. Nebraska. But I don't know if he went to the Come Nebraska on. game. Because I they were it's not a I heard chance. from everybody they were awesome fans at Nebraska. And oh, treated absolutely. The, the Cougar fans really well. Yeah. But the only one he said he's been to that where where that okay. chant wasn't uh done was was Baylor, which huh. is cool. Makes me uh, really like Baylor again. In Nebraska. Really I'd like be interested to see if that actually <laughs> happened in the uh, Missouri BYU whiteout game in Kansas City. Yeah, uh, I'd like to. Mm. I'd like to know that as well. To know if that happened. There. But you know what? If that's if if that's f the Muslims, mm-hmm. uh, can you imagine? Yeah, that just would not happen. There's plenty. Would there's not plenty happen. of names that you can put after f that would cause a big yes. stink. Mm. I, f the Jews. I mean, you'd be talking anti-Semitism, and everybody would be in an outrage. But. F the Mormon sense perfectly fine. Perfect. So thank you. Good night and drive safely. <laughs> By the way, Nebraska <laughs> extended their sellout streak, 386 consecutive sellouts. Uh, Even though they're playing like crap. Dog poop. Oh, yeah. Man. 61 seasons now. Um, That's super impressive. I told yeah. you that. They That's would, a fan base. Not, there's that no you, way that they would allow that to happen. So though. we have two more home games. You have to this admire year. that, though. A uh, fan base that keeps going no matter what. We haven't sold out those other two games. Yeah, but I, I, I don't think the university allows that to happen now, right? The university will buy them for Sometimes the you have mm-hmm. a donor or a sponsor yeah. step up, but mm-hmm. uh, I think they actually sold these tickets. That's something. I mean, that really is impressive. That is impressive. Big stadium, too. Yeah, how many? Gosh, they keep 70 some it. thousand, I think, uh, right? 78,000. No, yeah, they got to do more. They than keep that, right? they keep adding to yeah, it. I they, can't keep up with it, honestly. Lincoln's uh, got to have more than more than over eighty. They have seventy when I was there. Yeah, ninety now. Yeah, ninety. Wow, <clears throat> that's impressive. That really is something. I uh, got some tweets here. Kara thirty twenty two tweets during the two thousand sixteen floods here in West Virginia. One of my daughter's former middle school teachers and her friend were electrocuted in her basement oh. gathering heirlooms. Oh, jeez. God. Really sad. That again, that's another thing you have to be careful of when storm surges come in and you're gonna see all kinds of flooding and sometimes there's live wires yeah. that and, and come other in things contact. he even said that in the report that we showed with the the uh uh weather channel report there that showed the the water levels. He even said we don't you don't know what's in the water. Yeah. You don't know what's there. Right. Uh you know, it's a, it's not a good time at all. I don't recommend it. No. That's <laughs> Good safety tip. Yeah, Thank you, Jeff. You're welcome. Uh, fake Tyler Morgan tweets, I'm so glad we have uh, Biden curing cancer and Democrats are going to stop all hurricanes for forever. <laughs> that is nice. That is. Yeah. So we have that. We don't want them elected. But if they are, you know, we're going to see cancer end and the hurricanes, too. So that'll be that'll so, be great. So Joe Biden had, was elected. At yes. Least, at least right. I should, let's right. say he's in, he's in office. <laughs> okay, there you go. Mm-hmm. Much better. Uh, as to, but, but has cancer been cured? Qu- not quite yet, no. But Give the man some time. Give him a few minutes, will My you? My gosh, the world is on a few fire. Minutes. Jeez, I Jeffy. give him my word as a Biden. Thank you. All right. We got his word as a Biden. Yeah. What do you want? He's still got time. <laughs> okay. Jeffy's Third Moon tweets, How much is Pfizer paying Joey to attach the jab to absolutely every situation? <laughs> yeah, make it point. seem casual, Joe. Come on. That's a great point. Sure is. Carl Smith, Congress canceled today's January 6th public hearing out of respect for those in the path of the hurricane in Florida. Translation, MAGA Republicans in Florida can't watch this show while fleeing the state. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'm a lick and butter. Vaxxed peoples are less likely to be drowned or washed out to sea. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Scientific fact, man. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) If I lived on the coast, maybe I'd roll I up my sleeve. did not know that. By the way, the Nord Stream 2 pipeline tweeted an important message yesterday. Oh, no. What do we yeah. got here? Uh, <laughs> I have information that will lead to the arrest of Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> I saw something else that said the uh, Nord Stream funny. pipeline did not hang itself. <laughs> <laughs> so great. From Ape Lincoln, Zuckerberg is going to have to pick up a summer job as a lifeguard. Like Joe did. <laughs> yeah, because he's he's not among the top 10 richest people anymore. He'll get back. Jeffy Second Seat tweets, uh, maybe if Paris had been using rough greens, the dog wouldn't have taken off at the first opportunity. Oh, right. There you mm-hmm. go. Right? Right? Some people always think the grass is greener on the other side. And apparently Paris's dogs dog too, yeah. is one of those. Mm. Uh, did you say people? Yeah, it's one yeah, of those. One of those people. Yeah. 
Uh, also, <laughs> Jupiter is now at its closest to Earth location since huh. 1963. Yeah. I thought I was feeling extra gravitational pull. Uh-huh. Yeah, I thought I was. You could reach out. You could practically reach out and touch it. Almost. Yeah. It's like 370 million miles away. It's right there. I mean, nice. and and there you are. There you are, Jupiter. Yeah, it's 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 almost <laughs> like it's right here in the studio, Jupiter. <clears throat> You know, almost so reach out and touch it. The only reason we talk about Jupiter is for that <laughs> stupid. Didn't Jeffy start? Jeffy started. No, that. Jeffy did not start. Oh, that. Oh come on! That was that <laughs> dingle head down the hall, Stuber gear. What? Oh, really? Yeah. No, there you are. The Stu in the, orbit. I'm they, talking about on this show. When they did the story <laughs> of uh, Jupiter eating. It's yeah. moons and planets coming mm-hmm. in and growing bigger. Yeah, but you brought it up in here. I had no idea Stu had said that. So, congratulations. It's possible that I brought yeah, it up. Yeah, because possible possible you said, I got it. I eat <laughs> other planets. And that's I thought, funny. oh, that's good. I like that. That's funny. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> you didn't have to bring it down here. We were clueless, man. <laughs> Uh, Fed chairman. The Fed chairman yesterday discussed oh, the future gosh. of uh, digital currency. This is... This is going to make you feel good. Mm-hmm. I mean, we don't have enough to deal with. And now, mm-hmm. now this from this guy. <clears throat> and he Clip said a little something. That there are four like characteristics this. of if we were to pursue a CBDC, if we it were. would at a minimum have the following four characteristics. Okay, here we go. First is Federal intermediated. Government. Second is private, privacy protected. Oh, but third is identity verified. No, so that's not private not then. Anonymous. It would not be an anonymous bearer instrument. And fourth is mm-hmm. transferable or interoperable. So, so we're, we would be looking to balance privacy protection would with be. identity verification, <laughs> which is which has to be done, of course, in today's traditional banking system as well. Listen to this, man. They're mm. coming after your crypto. They're coming after Bitcoin. They want a fe- they want one digital currency, and they want it to run through the federal government's channels. And if you think privacy and identity identity verification uh, mm-hmm. can be separated, no. Because he is basically making the case that, look, sure, you'll be private, but the government, we're going to have to be able to identify you and know who you are in making these transactions. They are closing every last exit. It's Mm. terrifying. Mm -hmm. Digital currency? U.S. government? You on board with that? You like that idea? I don't think so. I loved it. Until you just told me not to right now. Wait, I'm surprised. I loved it. I Uh, figured you would not like that. Hmm, That's weird. Uh... (laughs) Also, other financial uh, goings-on that are happening right now. Um, The income needed to afford a house, to afford a typical home at uh, 30% of household income. Uh, The number one metro area in the country, Austin, Texas. How about that? Awesome. Uh, So, that's terrible. I mean, look at that. In 2022, the income needed... Uh, oh, just two years. Let's start it two years ago. Yeah. The income needed was 76166 to be able to afford a home. Yeah, 30% of your <clears throat> household income. So now it's 160000 Yeah. Oh, my. That's almost double. I will say that I, uh, more I than know double. someone that lives in the greater Austin area. Oh, it is more than and, double. Uh, it's uh, amazing mm. what the house Yeah, so that means now. that the house really? prices in the last uh, two a- years in Austin – have more than doubled, and right. other metro areas are very similar. I mean, look right down the list: Boston, Charlotte, Columbus, Dallas, Houston. It goes on. Jeez, and some uh, have used that extra money for pools. And yeah, have remodeling. They? Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, Los Angeles kind of surprises me because there's no way that in 2020, if you made 123,000 dollars, you could afford oh, a home. How is that possible? No way. And now it's 222,000. Mm. To afford a home in so Los Angeles. So they're saying that the average house price, then, if that's 30%, right? You yeah. You do the math there. That's like 369000 right? Yeah. Roughly? Ish. Ish. There's no way. Really something else. Hmm. Houses that are a lot Just kind of shows you what, what condition we're in. Um, And at number 14 on this list, I, I was talking about this on Monday, Seattle is just going to hell. I mean... What well, that's not the only that city. disintegration of a great American city. I know we've seen it in in San Francisco, Los Angeles, but you know it's the Pacific Northwest. I know, but there's so many Californians there. They're doing exactly to Washington State what they did in California, and so in 2020 you needed a hundred and two thousand dollar income to afford a house. Now it's a hundred and ninety two thousand. 
despite the fact that they've got tent cities popping right. up all over the place for the homeless there, despite the fact that, again, like in California, you've got the waste, the human waste situation yeah. on the sidewalks and the streets downtown, you've got crime that is incredibly rampant, and now you can't afford your house unless you make almost $200,000 a year. Jeez. <clears throat> I... I don't and know what to do what, about it. And what house are you getting? Mm-hmm. Yeah, not you know, a for, not a for, great one for making two hundred thousand dollars a year. Not uh, a great. Yeah, one. no, you're not. You're not going to. You're you're not going to be satisfied because the house isn't going to be a, a, a reasonable house for you know if you only make two hundred thousand dollars a year. Yeah, yeah, in a in maybe in not the most desirable location. Certainly not the one you right. were looking for. As right. is. <clears throat> That's right. And you think, I mean, the homeless population around the United States now is pretty dramatic. It's um, unbelievable. And you think, I mean, we talk about Florida being evacuated. I mean, what do we do with all the homeless people in Florida now during the storm, during these evacuations? Mm-hmm. Yeah, where do they evacuate to? I mean, I don't know. Are they, first of all, are they uh, vaccinated mm-hmm. uh, Thank to you. get into the question. shelters? <laughs> a, I don't know the answer to that question. It's a great question. Jeffy, thank you for thinking of them. <laughs> You're welcome. That's, I am. That's fantastic. Am. But I mean, it's, I don't know what you do with them, and I don't. I don't, I don't know the answer for the homeless problem around I, the country. No. I honestly, I don't know the answer. But there has to be one. I mean, we have to do something. We do have to do something. We have to do something about a lot of things. Um, I mean, maybe we don't give Ukraine a billion dollars a day. That's outrageous. What an what a So bigoted, you love Vladimir Putin. What a bigoted thought that is. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Keith. And how about your love for Russia? Thanks a lot. Man, you what are you like a Wow a Vladimir sympathizer over there, Jeffy? What are you like a commie? Wow. Huh. Wow. <laughs> is that what you are? Like a like a communist? A huh. communist sympathizer? I, it's, it's, I, what, I, huh. I felt like I wasn't, but yeah. uh uh huh. Is that what you felt like? Yeah. <laughs> where's your here's hammer your, and sickle? Here's your national anthem. Yeah, where's your hammer and sickle? Comrade, huh. yeah, thank you. <laughs> Here, I got love a, for Russia. I, I got a shirt for you, Jeffy. Why don't you put this on? Here, put it on, man. Put your Che Guevara shirt. That just done it, Mr. President. Wow, we can really let things spiral, can't we? Yeah, we can. <laughs> it's important, though. We have to show people. By uh, the way, what a bad person he is. He's totally you no. Know. And you're gonna hear this narrative that that. There's no way that Vladimir Putin would blow up his cash cow. Mm. There's no mm-hmm. way. Don't fall for this. And Germany's not going to do that either because that's going to keep them warm this winter. Right. So who blew up the pipeline? I don't know. What was it uh, Joe Biden said um, back a little while ago, like in Let me January? Let question first. If Germany, February. If, February uh, 7th. If Russia invades, uh, that means tanks mm. or troops crossing mm-hmm. yeah. the... Uh, the the border. Pause it for a second. Uh, again. <laughs> Wait, an invasion? Yeah. I'm trying to get this okay. down because he went a little too fast. <laughs> for it. He's so sharp that I just can't keep up. Okay, an invasion yeah. of another country okay. would mean tanks uh-huh. and troops? Yeah, so okay. across Crossing the border. The reason why you're hung up right now is because yeah. recently, you know how Merriam Webster's is constantly updating <laughs> definitions? Yeah. They changed it recently. Oh, so that's they? why you're kind of confused. Okay, he's yeah, ahead that. of you here. Okay, mm-hmm. all right, let's hear the rest. <laughs> then uh, there will be uh, mm-hmm. the, there will be no longer a Nord Stream two. We we Wait, will put an end to it. We'll put we'll, an end to it. We'll put an end to it. But, do, but how will you how will you do that mm-hmm. exactly? Since the project and control of the project is within Germany's control, we will. Uh, we will. I we promise will, you, uh, we'll be able to do it. Wow. Oh, okay. What does that mean? So obviously, it means that my handlers have told me, mm-hmm. and I started mm-hmm. to tell you, and I better pull it back now. And hmm. just, just know that we'll. There's no way. I promise you, we'll be able to do it. Huh? Really? You'll be able to end the Nord Stream Two yeah. pipeline? Huh? That's weird. Okay. Uh, let me tell you about my Patriot Supply. Things are getting real all up in here. So, uh, my Patriot Supply has a deal that you just can't pass up. You need to go to preparewithpat.com, preparewithpat.com, and you'll save $250 on a three-month emergency food kit from my Patriot Supply. Limited time offer. They can't do this forever. 
But it's designed to help you save money while you prepare for the food shortages that are probably on the way. Yeah, food shortages. The farmers keep warning us. It's time to listen. My Patriot Supply wants to help your family be prepared, but they can't offer this discount forever. Sale ends soon. Go to preparewithpat.com. Save $250 on each three-month kit you need. Get one per person in your family. Now, the food stays fresh for up to 25 years, so it's going to be there when you need it. And with this $250 savings, it's more affordable than ever to get prepared. You may not see this price again. This is the lowest price, I think, in three years. So don't miss out. Go to preparewithpat.com. Save $250. Preparewithpat.com. Pat Gray. Pat Gray. Welcome. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Pat Unleashed on Twitter, where Bunter Hayden Crack Connoisseur tweets. Did you guys know that pieces from the asteroid that was destroyed is what caused the pipeline leaks? Oh. <laughs> well, oh. Then, first of all, the, the asteroid wasn't destroyed. That's a common misconception. True. We were just running it was into just it. To to, yeah, we were just trying to nudge it out of its path a little bit. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess NASA has never seen the documentary, but go ahead. <laughs> I have a hard time believing we nudged it out of its path. I do, too. Hmm. With that teeny little thing, they, it was what? The whoa. size of a vending machine, they say. Oh, really? Size of a vending machine. So oh, just, that'll do it. So yeah. see, we'll know in two months. Two months. Right. If it if, if it, it was moved nudged. a little bit, yeah. yeah. So I'm okay. telling you, <laughs> we'll see if we're gonna. It's gonna have worked, and it's gonna put it in the path of Earth. <laughs> I can see we us doing it that. into the path. Our bad, y'all. Yeah. Ooh. So Oops. so we got some good news and we got some bad news. Which do you want? Good first? news is the uh, vending machine. <laughs> the worked. kinetic energy worked. Yeah. Okay. All right. Bad well, news. Yeah, it's now got? headed directly for Earth. So. so. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, from We Are All V, there's nothing to fear with the government tracking every single transaction Boy. you ever make. By the way, this digital currency is the main reason for the 87,000 new agents. It was pretty obvious this was coming. Oh, I don't like it. The man who falls upstairs <laughs> tweets, a digital currency to track what I buy? Hmm. The only thing I'll be buying is prepaid Visa gift cards. <laughs> Problem oh, solved. Yeah. Now, I wonder, now, Visa, you know, wants to track your gun purchases, and they're getting Amex and MasterCard mm. on board. I wonder if that goes, if that applies with gift cards. Hmm. I huh. don't know. I don't know. I'll have to look into that, I guess. Uh, we've got so many things to look into. Um, you know, Best Buy and Home Depot now are locking up many of their products now to avoid the, the theft because people are just coming into these stores, like we've seen over and over and over again lately, and just taking what they want. And sometimes they come into stores in mass and just empty shelves yeah. into bags, walk on out with it. Uh, and it works. I mean, how are you going to stop it? It works. Yeah, I don't know. They're yeah. not prosecuted. They're not caught. They're not arrested. They just go home with their stuff and, hey, uh, you got yourself a whatever you stole. And it's perfectly fine. But the Democrats are all about the rule of law. I want you to know that up front. Is this comedy hour? They are all about the rule of I law. I forgot about that. Yeah, but. yeah. The, I don't want you to because it's an important reminder. Wow. That they really care about the well, rule of good. law. Yeah. So, so hold on a second. Uh-huh. Curing cancer. Right. Stopping hurricanes. Yes. And rule of, rule law. of law. That's Democrats That's 2022. Well, the exactly first two right. you mentioned, that uh, hasn't really happened yet. No, no, yeah, they're on it, man. But they're, yeah. Okay. You can rest easy. They need to pull back. Don't worry okay. about it. Okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, and this is why people are having to lock up their goods. We've got this uh, footage, I believe. Is the footage ready of the uh, store being looted? The Wawa? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here they come. And uh, this is a Wawa, I believe, in Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Yeah. yeah. And I'm a fan of Wawa's, by the way. Wawa's are great. Yeah, sandwiches. you still making my sandwich for me? <laughs> still making my sandwich? <laughs> I'm with her on that. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're being, you're, you're being ransacked here, but get my sandwich like ready, will you please? The guy behind the counter is going to be a little while. A while. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, my gosh. America 2022. In a matter of, what, two minutes? Yeah. Less than that. 
This has been going maybe under a minute. You've destroyed somebody's store. And it's perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, more footage for Republicans uh, and their campaign videos this fall. They got to use that stuff. American cities. They absolutely must use it. But hey, uh, we're all about the rule of law. We're all about it. Now, we're not going to try to run any of these people down, catch them, arrest them. Actually, they are in this particular case. Because I noticed they were showing the photos and asking for information. If you know any of these people, who they are, please let us know. So maybe, I don't know, maybe because, maybe there's a minority owner of the uh, store and that's why they're going to track it. I don't know. Maybe. Why would you want to be a cop today? I wouldn't. Like, why would you want to have to deal with that kind of stuff? I would not. And then what's going on in New Orleans now? We have a complete lack of cops, a big shortage there. Well, yeah, uh, because of the defund the police movement, Mm -hmm. uh, uh, New Orleans is dispatching civilians now to crime scenes. So, what could go wrong? <laughs> I mean, I'm a kind uh, of I'm kind of for uh, what, what you is, know <laughs> civilian law and order. I am a Heinz Ketchup a police officer. Oh wow! That takes oh, wow. care of. Uh, oh, let's I mean, send Jeffy to of, New Orleans. Uh, We're gonna send Jeffy. Oh uh, yes! I'm already. Uh, uh, I already have a badge and I'm licensed. You sure do. So, so. if there's a ketchup emergency, you're on it. <laughs> you are. Uh, on there it. very well may be in New Orleans. Uh, there might be. <laughs> We'll get into the story. It's pretty amazing. It is. There, uh, it's incredible what's going on in the United States of America today. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Uh, more coming up. Pat Gray unleashed. Making the apocalypse fun since twenty seventeen. Uh-huh. It's Pat Gray unleashed. Oh on yeah. Oh yeah. Autumn is here. Time for pumpkin spice everything. Including pumpkin spice cookies that you can get uh, at kexi.com. K-E-K-S-I.com. Right now, we're running a 15% off sale. So 15% off when you go to kexi.com and get your pumpkin spice cookie or maybe a cinnamon roll cookie or uh, that Texas sheet cake. Probably still my favorite. That and the uh, the salted caramel. Mm-hmm. Mm, so delicious. Kexi.com, 15% off. Right do you uh, have to be vaccinated? To order from, in order to uh, order, uh, we're dropping that restriction uh, this week. Okay. Yeah, this week. Uh, Is that well, and last week. Temporary And the, and the week before. Oh. And every week we've been open uh, before that. Huh. And every week we will continue to be open. Okay. So, yeah. Well, that's good. That's good. <laughs> so don't worry about that. <laughs> don't worry about it. Uh, here's something you do have to worry about, and that's the fact that the LGBTQIA2 plus community is pissed right now. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. You know, Netflix has that new movie, Dahmer. Yeah. About Jeffrey Dahmer, yeah. obviously. I'm told to, I'm told it's not bad. I'm supposed to watch it. Oh, really? So, yeah. Who told you that? I've had several people tell me to watch it. <laughs> Ted so. Bundy? Is that who told you to yes. watch it? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Ted, Ted reached out weird. from the grave that's weird. and said, hey, you uh, know, you should watch another serial killer. Yeah, watch that Dahmer. He was a bad dude. <laughs> But the problem with uh, with the community is that Netflix categorized Dahmer as LGBTQ and put it in that category, <laughs> right? You know, and uh, how dare you do that? That's not the presentation we're looking for. And well, they caved. Wait, he was gay. Okay, all his victims, he you know uh, took advantage of mm. were boys, were guys. And then uh, he killed him and ate him afterwards. So, hmm. I mean, what do you want him to do? Lie about it? Aren't aren't there any bad people among the LGBTQers? Guess not. There's no even every portrayal of somebody in the LGBTQ community community has to be super happy, positive, fun. <laughs> I guess yep. all the icky people on this planet, uh, they're all straight. And don't you dare say otherwise. Don't you dare. Well, so Net- Netflix did cave and removed it. Yep. And they apologized profusely. Sure did. We're sorry. We, I don't know how that happened. That is despicable. I don't, I don't know how it happened. All right. Whatever. Uh, did you see the guy's victims? You know who they were? You know what happened to them? All right. That doesn't mean that everybody who is uh, in that community is the same just as when you portray somebody who's a killer who's straight, that doesn't mean all straight people are killers. The problem <laughs> really? is 
all poor people <laughs> there we go. are necessarily killers. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this a clip that we have access to still? Uh, we're about to find out. Uh, no, it isn't. Oh, no. Uh, no, it is not. Oh, no. I can't. Ah, you know, this, that's painful, I'm not isn't it? About this. Poor people aren't necessarily yeah. killers. In other words, just because you happen to be poor uh, doesn't mean that you're going to murder somebody. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. It's effectively the same sound. Uh, it's the same. Yeah. It's <laughs> about the same. Uh, we were just telling you, though, about the officer shortage in oh, New Orleans. Yeah. The, the, because there's such a uh, shortage from the defund police movement now, New Orleans is dispatching citizens to crime scenes. Uh, so that's going to uh, work out well. I think it will. I, I, this is a really good idea. Jeffy's catching a flight to Louisiana <clears throat> after the show today, apparently. With his Heinz well, yeah, ketchup badge. 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 Listen, you don't want to mess with the law. You don't. No, you don't. Yeah, you don't want to mess with And what law. does that say on it exactly? It says uh, Heinz ketchup police officer, <laughs> number 18, <laughs> Jay 18. Fisher. Okay. Hold that up. It's, it's really a, good. A deputy sheriff. Who badge. made that for you? Uh, <laughs> Do you remember? A really nice listener. Okay. Yeah. Who is great, and I really mm-hmm. appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> You're the worst. Uh, Democrat Mayor Latoya Cantrell's New Orleans, now America's murder capital. Oh, congratulations. Yes. They're yeah, number yeah, one. Absolutely. They're number one. Yeah. Not only faces skyrocketing crime rates, but a dearth of police officers to bring the corresponding chaos under control. As part of a new initiative aimed at bolstering the force and its crime fighting response, the New Orleans Police Department will redeploy officers to streets who were previously working in administrative oh, I bet you they're happy about specialty that specialty and <laughs> detective capacities <laughs> extra to dispatching trained police and prompting previously rejected applicants to reapply oh no the department will also be enrolling 50 to 75 civilians in support roles oh that's, that's great so we're gonna get Bob the plumber showing up at a crime scene that'll be great because <laughs> Bob has seen some messy stuff. Yes, he has. <laughs> <Bob. laughs> oh, he, right. He's perfect for New Orleans. <laughs> he is. Who's with me? I mean, they said before they were, they were. I don't know that they've actually committed to canceling Mardi Gras yet, mm. but they said they were looking at canceling because they didn't uh-huh. have enough Did, police there for it. Wow. Wow. That's a big deal. Yeah, it is. Uh, a New Orleans Police Department Superintendent, Sean Ferguson, indicated on September 22nd, that the new civilian employees will be tasked with monitoring phones and online reports, surveillance of certain events, issuing traffic citations, what? and doing investigative work. All right. Awesome. Oh, come on. What a joke. Awesome. This sounds like a Babylon B yes! story. Yes, it does. Doesn't it? Yes. That uh, truth really is stranger than fiction now i will say i'm not necessarily opposed to the two police officers that pulled me over in new orleans a few years ago hmm? uh you know darn the luck if they're not if they're out of work <clears throat> darn the luck yeah they were talking about um <laughs> when they're when they're getting these uh new police officers uh-huh. Uh-huh. they're foregoing um uh like if you have a bad credit score that used to keep you out oh but and now yeah. now it doesn't oh that's good you want an yeah. officer of the law that has money problems. That's going to work out well. Wow. I think it will. I think that will work out well. Do you? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, they said they're going to uh, they're going to get a hold of previously rejected applicants. Yeah. So if you weren't good enough for us now, you uh, then you certainly are, you now. are now. We love you now, uh, and we think you're the best. And we had some administrative snafu. That's why we said no. But we want you back. Get back here. We what want you, you now. My Come on in. That's just really something. Ooh. Also, New York City Mayor Eric Adams is desperately trying to get people to move to his city. I bet. Or just stay in his city. Yeah. Here he is uh, looking desperate. We have a brand. Mm. We have a brand. New York has a brand. <laughs> yeah. And when people see it, it means something. He does it. You know, when we go mm-hmm. there, it's not. Mm-hmm. A, Kansas doesn't have a brand. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> Look at their laughing. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, when you go there, yo, okay, you from Kansas? <laughs> no. Yeah, well, you know what? <laughs> you but New York has a brand. Yeah. It has a brand. 
You it elitist. Was, what is your brand? A lot of crime. Oh, yeah. Uh, bad traffic. <laughs> Stepping over a human uh, fecal matter on your way to yeah. work on the sidewalk. Yeah, oh, that's the New York brand. Has a brand, all right. It has a smell to it as well. <laughs> and if you've ever lived there or commuted to the city for work like what he did for three years, <laughs> you, you know that brand. You don't have that in Kansas, though. No. You don't no, have you do the, not. the piles of human excrement. No, you really don't. I will say that. That brand has gotten worse. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. At least yeah, at the time much when worse. we were there, at least the brand was you know, kind of It was, it okay. was still pretty yeah, acceptable. Still New York City, yeah. Yeah. I remember when I first went to New York uh, to interview for a job, uh, I was taking the uh, taxi back to the uh, airport. Mm-hmm. And the cab driver goes, you know, we're making small talk, Pat's favorite pastime. And he's like, well, let me mm-hmm. just tell you one thing about New York. You got three things here. You got bricks, cops, and garbage. Anyway, good luck with your interview. I hope it went well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, a, yeah. It was, accur- it was accurate. Uh, yeah, 100%. very. And now, like Jeffy said, it's, it's only gotten oh, worse. Oh, man, it's gotten a lot worse. So if you're thinking about moving there, you know, you're relocating to New York or wherever frankly. out of new york you need a really good realtor to help you make decisions about selling your home and buying a home in another place uh it's a real challenge it's a huge investment and man in los angeles you need to make two hundred and twenty-two thousand dollars just to be able to do uh any kind of a home uh well Hopefully, you're in an area that's not quite that expensive. Um, But you need a realtor who's going to help you with whether you make decisions like painting the house, uh, replacing carpeting or flooring, what you do with countertops. All of that stuff is really a challenge, and it's all really expensive. So are you going to get your money out of it? That's where real estate agents I trust come in. These are the people with the great track records. They know how to sell your home. They know how to help you buy one and get the most home for your money. So whether you're buying or selling or doing both, Real Estate Agents I Trust, the name says it all. Realestateagentsitrust.com. All right. So, uh, 888-933-93. Also, Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Uh, Meanwhile, speaking of New York, another caravan of illegal migrant buses just arrived in New York City. Isn't that great? Oh, good. That's Step, great. Stepping up the brand. Yeah, they are. Um, so, apparently, the uh, caravan on its way to New York nice. City now, too. Not not just uh, to the southern border of Texas or Arizona or California. Uh, and Mayor Eric Adams continues his efforts to erect tents and cots to centralize incoming travelers. I guess you got a big parking lot in in Brooklyn or is it the Bronx? Uh, five more buses arrived and uh, that's what they did with the people. They just started this big oh, was nice parking lot area for them. Hey, here's your accommodations. <laughs> that was nice Welcome to New York. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so now they're getting a taste of Pick what uh, Texas space. has been going through forever. Yeah. I mean, right. This is And they can't they can't deal with it at all. Uh, they hate this. They can't put their their money where their mouth is. Hey, we love my we're we're a sanctuary city. If you come here, yeah. you don't have to worry about being arrested or deported. We love you. Come on in. Well, we took them up on it finally. Took them up on it. <laughs> Abbott, DeSantis, everybody's saying, "Okay, uh, you guys you are it. so friendly to illegal immigrants. Here you go." Here you go. <laughs> I, so I don't know what the problem is. Help them out. Right. Uh, it's This is really uh, one of the greatest political moves yeah. that anybody's ever made in world history. Well, and wor- Wait, <laughs> world we're going history. We're going world, world history. history. Yeah, world history. Wow. Not just the United States, but world history. Nobody's made something, some kind of move like this that's and, been and a, this brilliant. In the campaign season? Uh-huh. What about when Napoleon uh, sent out those flyers? <laughs> Set up flyers. Well, I'm just wondering how you yeah. rank it compared to that. Uh, those are pretty good. They under the, the busing of illegals to New York City and Chicago. They had yeah. the picture of him with his yeah. hand in his vest. Right. I know. Okay. Napoleon sent out selfies? Yeah. No, yeah. Well, I'm, look. I, I don't write world history. I just report it, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and in Lebanon, armed customers are robbing banks to get their own money back. Oh, boy. Things were, have been so bad in Lebanon that uh, 
people go to the bank and they're refused. Yeah, they can't. They, they can they only try to take get their so money. much money out. Yeah, uh, you know those accounts were locked well, down. Well, what if I need more? Tough. Sorry, no, nope. can't help you. And so they, you know, they go mm. into they rob the bank. They bring in a weapon, or they put, you know, give them the note, and they say they need the money to, you know, pay doctor bills or pay whatever bills they have. Um, and they, you know, they rob the bank. And so it's been a, it's been a tough time. Yeah, for uh, for the citizens of Lebanon, Lebanon's banks have locked most depositors out of their savings since their economic crisis took hold uh, three years ago, that, leaving a lot of the population unable to pay for just basic things. Obviously, that could never happen here. No, no, that so we're talking happen. about no, Lebanon. No, right, Lebanon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's a you know it's kind of a crappy country. We don't have to worry about that happening here. <laughs> One woman with a gun and some associates briefly held hostages at a branch of uh, Blom Bank in the capital, Beirut, before leaving with more than $13,000 in cash yeah. from her account. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're stealing mm -hmm. their own money. Yep. That's I fascinating. I don't blame them. I don't either. Um, is it stealing, then? If you took the money out of your own account, can you really call that theft? Well, It's my money. I'm just removing it. You're doing it under the threat of force. Yes. So? <laughs> you won't give it to me. And for three years, yeah, so you've been turning me away? Yeah. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm going to come get my money. I. It's hard to blame them. It really is. Yeah, the people around, uh, you know, obviously the the people around the robber side. The, you know, and I, yeah. say, I use robbers loosely, but, you know, they're on the side of the people going to the bank saying, uh, I want my money. I mean, they were a little mean about it. They threatened to set people on fire. <laughs> so, hey, well, what are you going to do? Whatever it they takes were after to their money, right? Unlock yes. the safe, bro. That's what I mean. <laughs> I don't want to set you on fire. So I was saying the threat of force. That does seem like it's not uh, you know, the right thing to do. Right. It does but, seem like that. But it's hard to criticize because I, know. I don't know where I'd be after three years of going to the bank and not oh, being man. able to get the money I need. It's my money. I just gave it to you to for keep for safekeeping. And that was your first mistake. But uh, I want it back, and that seems to be the deal we made in the beginning, <laughs> right? Yeah. I I mean, could this happen here? Absolutely, it could. Did you mention in that Absolutely. story about the the it was with the lady of the cancer, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. It, uh, Her sister. That is one of the. There's uh, multiple situations. stories there, but yeah, one of them is like I need this money to pay for. <clears throat> I think it was my sister's cancer well, treatment. I mean, everybody has an excuse. So <laughs> an excuse. <laughs> By the way, I, I just got this uh, tweet from Mixy Mexi. It says that uh, there's a lot more to that civilian police force story in New Orleans. A few years back, New Orleans was offering high salaries, benefits, and pensions in order to attract <laughs> police officers. Then they reneged on all of that, so police had no choice. See ya. Wow. Man, these cities, yeah. I mean, you keep electing Democrats and corrupt individuals, this is what happens. Exactly. Mm. Uh, but one of these uh, one of these robbers, mm. I use that term loosely, <laughs> uh, said, I have nothing to lose. I got to the end of the road. Um, she said a visit to the bank manager two days ago uh, had not provided an adequate solution. I got to the point where I was going to sell my kidney mm -mm. so that my sister could receive treatment. Oh. And then instead, she thought, you know what I'm going to do instead? I'm yeah. going to go get my money by force <laughs> yeah. out of my account. That's really amazing. Really, really amazing. And that line, I have nothing to lose, you are going to hear more and more frequent in all corners of the globe as we move forward here yeah. in this new reality. Sad but true, I think. Uh, you know, Amer Americans, I think don't understand how desperate the situation can get. I, I don't think we get that no, because we we've never seen anything like this we before. We've never been in a situation where there wasn't food in the grocery stores, where you couldn't withdraw your money from uh, an ATM or go to the bank and get the money out of your account. Well, not since the 1930s anyway. Right. Not since the Great Depression has this kind of stuff happened. Uh, but if rationing food begins... And people start getting tight with your own money, like at the bank. Uh, things could get ugly really fast. And do you trust your government on any level? Even this, this FDIC insured bullcrap. What is that? Two hundred, two hundred fifty thousand. Two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What? What is that? I mean, 
I don't trust anything this government stands behind. No, I know. I sure as hell I'm not going to trust Nobody, them with my money. I, I think many, many people, maybe most Americans feel that way. And it's it's sad. I just hope it doesn't get to that point because oh, it'll get Well, ugly. they're going to track us with this digital currency we just heard from Jerome right. Powell. That's true. Everything you do is going to be under the yeah. microscope and under the control I mean, of the federal government. Pretty much is now. Yeah. Well, and anybody talking about cash. principles of freedom is labeled now a fascist yeah. and they're horrible. Like this like the woman in uh, Italy who just got elected, the prime minister of Italy. All she wanted to I mean she's pro life, she's uh she's got some conservative values and so she's a fascist. Yeah. She just described a domestic terrorist from what I heard. God, and uh, the media attack on her is just really amazing. Her name is uh, Georgia, uh, or is it Georgia Maloney? And they keep la- labeling her and talking about how Fox News ran multiple segments taking issue with the media calling out Maloney's uh, Brothers of Italy party for its historic ties to neo fascist <laughs> parties in Italy. Uh, Maloney, of course, was a member of the National Alliance. From 1995 to 2009. Now, they had some kind of tie to fascism in in World War II. Yes. But are you kidding me? Uh, The Democrat Party in this country (laughs) has ties to American slavery. Breach it. Anybody who's a Democrat, is that fair game now? We can start (laughs) calling you... uh, a slave supporter? Slave owner. You're a supporter of slavery? Yeah, yeah. And um, uh, you were totally against civil rights. They actually broke away from the United States of America into their own nation <laughs> to preserve slavery. Uh, they also have current ties to being so radical, the Communist Party endorsed their candidate yeah. in 2020. So They've the got case. no room to speak here. Right. No room to talk. Maybe facts, though. They're, they are facts. Mm-hmm. There's no no question. Um, but we're, we're Fox is being targeted for defending oh, her. Yeah. Well, she wants talk she, show hosts. She wants nothing to do with, and I say nothing to do. She wants Italy first, right? Uh, oh. make yeah, that's Italy, how it should be. Make huh? Italy first. I know that's yeah. how it Klaus should Schwab be. Klaus Schwab doesn't like that. No, Klaus doesn't, and <laughs> he, and they and they continue with the the EU crowd and the WEF crowd continue yeah. to double down on it. And yeah, they, they don't do. like it at all. And nope. so we'll see. We'll see what happens. I exactly. Mean, but this, if you're not down with the one world government situation that we've been warning about forever. I mean, John Birch Society warned about this back in the 40s and 50s, probably. But that's what they're seeking in in the WEF. It's essentially one world government. They just don't call it that anymore. It's just a new movement. It's the uh, Build Back Better movement. Yeah. Great Reset, baby. The Great Reset, Build Back Better, all of that stuff. I mean, I think it started at the Gulf of Tonkin. <laughs> oh, tell I'm me. not positive tell about that. Tell us about that. this. I'm not positive really about did that. Really did it? I think it did. It, yeah, I don't, huh. I don't know. I don't. Where know would exactly. I go for more information on the Gulf of Tonkin situation? <laughs> that's out there. That's out there. If just you're just joining the show, that's a reference to Alex Jones. <laughs> uh, there you go. So, Alex to, to Alex, everything begins at the Gulf hey, of Tonkin. He mentioned it again not long ago too Did he? in one of his uh, rants outside the courtroom. Yeah, he meant he got a Gulf, <laughs> of, Gulf of Tonkin mention in. It was got, awesome. It's important to mention the Gulf I of Tonkin know. whenever possible. I don't know. Uh, that's what got us into the Vietnam War. Okay? Thank you. It's what got us in. So, I don't want to hear it from you. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell you what the history says. Uh, one more thing before we go. The government shutdown is uh, likely avoided now. What a relief. Oh, whoa. Oh, my I was getting nervous there. Gosh, I was so what scared. What would we how, have done? How do I live my life? Please tell me, federal well, government. Well, yeah, Daddy. without the non-essential services that would have been stopped. Right. What would you do without non-essential <laughs> services? Mm-hmm. Well, you'd die. You'd die. Uh, but fortunately, another cave-in by Joe Manchin has prevented it. What a surprise. <laughs> Yay! What a surprise. <laughs> I love this. Oh, I love this. Gosh. Yeah, yeah. Over the thing, and over the thing that Schumer promised him, he had to take out of this bill. Okay, All I think right. I will. I'll okay. do it anyway. I'll I mean, cave again anyway. I don't want to be portrayed as the bad guy again he's just unbelievable so predictable west virginia you guys are so right don't ever depend on joe mansion all right
have a great day. We'll see you back here uh, oh. for overtime, actually. Pat Gray, only on the Blaze Radio Network.